Jackson. Dan, my sister Melissa is doing so well. Thank you. Thank you. But I mean that um, it's the tragic comic disconnect between the self we want people to see and the self we fear people will see. And I'm wondering if you had that impression in making this film and encountering these people, um, because it seems to be the running theme, not only of this film, but actually of one of your opt-outs, um, the one whose name escapes me about uh, uh, the lawyer, defense lawyers who so make films about their, their uh, clients. Yeah. So, well, thank you for watching that too. You're you're a worker. You're watching. Thank you. That's very nice. That's very yeah. Um, no, I mean, I think I think you know we we all a lot of us started working on this film not really knowing what it was going to be. I, I'm from. If anyone's from Florida, is anyone? Yeah, nice. Good stuff. Yeah. You know, I I heard about this place growing up, and I. I've heard really insane things about it. At one point, when I was in like middle school, it was apparently it had the highest rate of ST STDs in Florida. So a lot of people were always talking about these kind of like tall, trading these tall tales about the place. And I, you know, I, I was interested in that stuff, but I was also interested that this was like, it's like a snow globe of America. It's, it's got, it's this, you know, kind of recreation of this American yesteryear. And I was so fascinated that so many people were moving across, you know, hundreds of thousands of people were moving across the country to live in this place. So I, you know, as the movie, as we kind of were figuring out what the movie was going to be, how it was taking shape, we met so many great people who were in the film, some who aren't in the film. Um, but the thing that was most important to me is that these aren't, you know, these aren't old people. These aren't people who we should be jeering at or laughing at or anything like that. These are, these are just people. They're people who are going through the same, you know, they're, the same, they're filled with just as much complexity and desire as anyone, as especially me. And they're filled with love. And I think that was something that I was, you know, really fascinated by. Was that you're kind of at the like, last chapters of your life. Things aren't nearly as figured out as you think, you think they'd be. So that was the driving kind of force to find a way to shape the movie around those kinds of uh, those things. Um, yeah. And obviously we're all facing a big sleep at some point or another in our lives, but I'm wondering if you had the impression that men face it differently from women, because it's the impression you give in the film, it seems to me, at least in your choice of characters. I wish, um, I wish, uh, our producer Darren Aronofsky was here, but we, we showed the movie to his parents, and uh, his father accused me of being uh, sexist to men. <laughs> he said, "All the women are great, but all the men are fucked up. What's wrong with this? What's your deal? I, I I don't know. I I um I think I mean you know, the, 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 I think Reggie and Dennis they're both very complicated people, um, but they're also I think you know, they're human. They're human people. They're 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 you know, I think um, I, I really admire a lot of things in Reggie and in Dennis. I think, for one, it is—it is. I mean, 
you know, there are so many more, uh, you know, women than men, we, we die faster. And I think that's also a big part of, of the thing that a lot of people go through there. What Barbara is dealing with, just trying to get out again, trying to go and kind of reconfigure her life. And I think for Reggie, you know, it's, I don't know, having someone, having someone like Anne, having someone to take care of him, having companionship, I think uh, that was something I kept noticing among so many people there. Um, yeah. So obviously this is an incredibly well-crafted film, and so I'm putting this to all of you, and anyone can chime in and talk about the look of the film, the sound of the film, the, the, the way in which you conceived the film from the start, and the way it may have changed along the way, especially in the editing process. <coughs> we'll go to Dan. He's like the co-author of this movie, so please give him a round of applause. <laughs> say that the film changed significantly since the beginning. It started as a kind of institutional portraiture, more like, uh, it was more like a Fred Wiseman film or something, where we were following around people through, through the institutions of the villages, and it was more about the place. And it was only relatively late in the process that we realized that this needed to be a film that was about all of these characters. And so Lance just kept returning to these people over and over again, and I would keep saying to him, man, we don't have enough footage to make a, an institutional portrait, so how are we gonna make this film? And eventually we just realized that this was what played best to Lance's strengths. He's just incredible at forming these deep relationships with people, and so we kind of had to listen to that in, in crafting the film and just following these people as, as far as we could go. Um, also, in terms of the sound, is, is Luciano here? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Do you want to talk Yes. <laughs> Wow. Um, well, first of all, it's been a while since I've seen it. It's really good. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I mean, there were moments where we were very cautious and had to preserve the authenticity, and then there were moments where we kind of went crazy and balls to the wall. And um, Ari and Ryan, Ari's the composer and also sound design. Um, which one was that? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they, 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 there was a lot of, there was a lot of taking the original elements and just building upon that and adding to the environments. Um, but I mean, I think it was all like we, we were we were very respectful of what was there. Um, as as sort of a model, we didn't want to go too far in any one direction. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else want to add anything? I should I should shout out our DP is unfortunately in India, but he, yeah. he this 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 is like you know as much as it is all of our films, it is really his film too. Um, and I think a lot of the ways in which our access to the you know being so intimate with with the, the folks who live there and um, with Barbara, with Dennis, with Anne and Reggie. It came a lot from the way we shot the movie. How we shot it was, you know, maybe a little different than other documentaries. You know, we're not flies on the wall here. We're not shooting. We're stealing moments that are just kind of captured as you're moving around spaces. You know, the idea was to really try and ground the movie in the space of the villages, the kind of the environment, and use the camera and all of our tools to try and make it feel like a, I don't know, kind of an experience to, to make you feel like you were there. So to us, it was, you know, how did, how did we do that? We were trying to do it through just a tripod, putting it down, and basically, you know, almost allowing these kinds of, like, everyday moments, having people, um, you know, perform scenes from their everyday lives, more or less. So, you know, as any documentary does it, like, you know, in a nook of the north, or it's kind of, you know, there's, there, this is, this is, a, I'm not comparing this movie to that movie. <laughs> that movie's way better than this movie. But, um, but you know, I mean, there's, like, every subject and every, in any documentary is performing, and that is also an element of this. We were there to kind of bear witness to these really intense moments they were going through. Um, and in a lot of ways, it was kind of, it was just as therapeutic for us as it was for them to be, you know, on camera going through these really intense things. Um, but, yeah. Let's take some questions from the audience. We're gonna, we're gonna go around with the mic so everyone can hear it. So, so. Uh, uh, 